Welcome back, everybody. I am C Money. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are playing Progressive World Domination on the Moonstone Forest map. We're playing this as a green player, and I'm realizing this map, along with a lot of the other maps in this particular map pack, doesn't let you zoom out really any further than I am right now. So we're going to try to keep the board exactly where it is. I promise you there is only two territories over here. Exactly how it is so you can see all territories just in this view. I'm not going to move it at all. If I want to look at a territory, so be it. Moonstone Forest is the map. You can take a look at the bonuses here. We got Spring as a 6. Forest Cleaning is a 6. Autumn is a 5. Summer is a 5. Uh, Green Grove a 2. Golden Root a 3. So is Lower Forest. And then Winter and Shady Forest are both 4s. We're playing with no fog, no blizzards, no portals. Automated uh, inactivity behavior. 60 second turn timers. Auto setup. Wardle Dom, Progressive Cards, Balance Blitz Dice, No Rank Restrictions, as previously mentioned. I think the pink player has bought it out. No, just uh, a lot of attacking there. So no bot out. Um, I don't want black to knock me out of here, but I think black's going to go... For, or, sorry, I said black. It's white. It's the exact opposite. Uh, all right, I think I got a take in here with a fortify potentially right in there. I don't want to fortify there right now. I have so much material in the center of the map. I am not going to be able to play a multi-positional game, I don't think. Um... I could greed a bonus early. I think my best bet is to let white have this bonus. Try to pull this in over here. Um, put one here and then one here. We should be able to maintain all of this over here. We'll let pink fortify out. Ideally, white can hit. Hopefully, white doesn't hit that. And we pull this in. Do I play for that plus four? Or do I play for this plus four? I'm going to play for this one. This is a one-point hold. We play for this plus four. This one's way stronger. Um, that's a plus four with a one-point hold from this territory here in the center. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, potentially optimistic. Blue might be going for this bonus. Maybe going to... I think your fortify should be over here. The one up into your five. No, three, two into the... Two onto the two for four there. I, I might have gone over here, but... Uh, Blue seems like a smart player right off the bat, multi-positional game. Ideally, the the goal here is that White rolls his four out on the next turn. He might smoke my three, though. He's basically guaranteed this bonus unless Orange yoinks it. I did not consider Orange yoinking the plus two. Uh, rolls the three on one over here. Maybe stays looming over here to get White to commit material in. I'm not sure. White might group all of this up onto that bonus there. But Orange with a very strong stack in the center of the board. A four on the left side. We got Red with an eight on the right side and a three in the center. Red actually, uh, I don't, I'm not jazzed by Red's position so far. We could take both of these bonuses with a plus, or with a three point hold, provided we remove everybody. Um, please don't smoke my three. I really would love to hold that three for one more turn. He, does, he doesn't smoke my three. All right. I think that's a maybe a misplay. I would have double attacked there if I was white to get the four in. My three can't really go anywhere. Now, interestingly enough, I thought part of the reason I wanted to play this map is I thought there would be some potential kill guards available here. Um, Fergus, no. Okay. I guess we're doing that today. Um, pink is going to hit orange up here. So pink's, yeah, pink, I, I don't get an impression of too much skill from the pink player. That is a, a whole left side bonus. Granted, a two-point hold if you're able to get all of it, but I don't think he's got the material over there to compete with blue. Uh, it's going to have to remove quite a bit. So I would love to venture into grabbing one of these bonuses here pretty soon. Again, not going to be able to play a two-position game, so... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a little bit greedy. Because I want to hold this spot. We can remove orange on the next turn. We do lose a little bit. That's fine. I'm not going to hit that now. And I'm going to group up this direction. I'm going to try to play a one position game. It's not great for progressive cards, which is what we're playing. But given where all of my material has been, I think that's the better choice. Uh, red's gonna, he's gonna come swooping through on the right-hand side here, which is not great. Or at least prepare for it. Fails that roll. That is big. Fails that roll as well. He's gonna roll this 2 on one over here. It doesn't get, he's gotta roll the 11 into the 3. He has no more rolls. Doesn't lose anything on that roll, though. So good for him. Um, not digging Red's position. Probably in the worst spot on the board. My center position's not great. Um, Pink's position's not great either. 
but I think red being almost exclusively localized to one position here is not ideal. Now, orange has the decision to make here. I could have broken uh, white and prevented him from getting the plus two, uh, but the fact that I'm going to be likely neighbors with him, I don't think benefits me a whole lot. Um, I've got orange trapped in here for now. Blue might go for this bonus here. It's a two point hold over a plus three. Uh, and commit some material over here. He might just attack off of his one. Now that might give red an avenue. That gives av red an avenue to a bonus that uh, has no signs of being broken anytime soon. Orange has a decision to make. Does he slam? Does he drop all three here and slam white? He very well might. No, he's going to take the center bonus. Center bonus or split here maybe? I don't really like a split. He's going to go for it. Center bonus is a tough spot to be. I don't really see a world in which white lets him hold that. Um, especially with all these splits. These splits don't make any sense. Especially if he fails that. He doesn't fail that roll, but... Man, that's a, that's quite the commitment from orange. I mean, everything exists there. That That's... that's uh, Yeah, that's a, that's a spot to be in for sure. Um... I might take this plus four on this next turn. Red won't have an avenue in just yet. White fails that roll. Probably attacks. He's going to attack off the three. So everybody's kind of gifting Red this bonus. I don't know why we're playing such a strong bonus game so far. But it's going to wrap back around to pink. I, in an ideal world, pink uses this three to attack and doesn't continue progressing into uh, white over there. But the fact that orange has taken a bonus at pink's back, white has taken a bonus at pink's back, I don't think either of those players are going to be keen to holding uh, or to letting pink hold much of anything over here he is going to roll this that is actually super awesome because it it's makes me getting this bonus much cheaper um don't even have to roll him down i'm almost certainly guaranteed to this bonus on this next turn free roll here we'll go with this here uh i'm not going to add to that I'll add to this. I, I don't, again, don't really want a one position, but if it's for a plus four bonus in the early game before anybody trades in, um, I guess I'll leave that like this and then attack in for improved defense. We're not going to take the second bonus yet. I am going to hold here and then we'll start fortifying this stuff in, hopefully taking off of our other stacks here. Yeah, Red won't be able to get down to me. Red will probably take this bonus up here, but he's going to have to split. I wonder if he tries to slow take here. He doesn't rush the bonus just because... Yeah, he doesn't rush the bonus. Uh, and now Blue's in a hairy spot. If I'm Blue, I almost might want to establish a position in the middle of the board and hope that White doesn't remove me here. White kind of has my kill hostage if he wants it. Um, we'll see what happens. Now, with the plus four, I could potentially take this bonus on the next turn. I think he's going to five on two here. He does five on two there. That makes this an expensive removal. But it also gives me an attack here. Gives me the avenue to fortify in. Gives white the avenue to group up. Orange commits down here. So, orange is holding... That top bonus is a plus five. My bonus is a plus four. So, orange and I holding the two strongest bonuses on the board. We're only, us and white, the only ones holding bonuses together. Now, white could get adventurous and come try to break me. But if orange holds this here, I don't think he's going to be inclined to do that. This also groups red up into one singular position. With red grouped up into one singular position, I could start the game off with a kill. Um, not going to line that up just yet. But it's there if I want it. White does kind of remove... Okay. I, not a fan of that. That's that's a little bit annoying. I wanted to use that to take. He he never gave me the opportunity to get out. And now Orange and myself are in a bit dicier of positions here. So p the pink kill totally on the board for somebody. The red kill, pretty, pretty clearly on the board for somebody. I'm probably gonna take my hit on Orange here on this next turn. Um. Because I want to fortify this material out of the pocket. There's no point having that material in the pocket. Now, what does pink hit? Pink hits the four. Yeah, pink is pink is dead. Um, white, white with the easiest lines you've ever seen on that kill. Um, I would pull. I would group this up as fast as possible. But pink might not live until the next turn. Uh, not looking very good for them. We're gonna play with one uh, threatening stack here. We're gonna hit orange over here. 
and I'm going to make my, actually, we're going to leave that nested back as far as we can. Um, I'm going to make my way up to that spot there. Red likely going to hit the white two here. So everybody getting centralized into one position except for orange and blue. Orange and blue, the two players that are not centralized. Uh, I'm not going to count this white one as white not being centralized or the two up here. Those are both very reachable for any player that isn't uh, pink, really. Um, bold play by red. So red keeps his line down into blue's pocket here. But until, I mean, the eight and the four here aren't going to be removed anytime soon. So we do have our, we're getting seven a turn, which helps. It helps recoup the loss of the three over here, the loss of the one external position we had. And ideally, orange doesn't roll me, he rolls white. But if he rolls white, he opens up white to his kill as well. So maybe he won't do that. And blue's creating an additional position. I love the game that blue is playing right now, despite the fact that he doesn't have any bonuses. Um... He's keeping himself stronger than he's going for the... Uh, he's not going for this. He just doesn't want to be facing my 13, maybe? Or he's giving white extra cards? I, I don't know. Um, don't think orange hits me here. I did forget the fact that this blue stack here, it's not nested in the pocket there. It does lead up into orange. The players in our game, by the way, Wayland Enomoto is the pink player in the first position. We have uh, me, Grandmaster level player. I'm seeing many in the uh, from the United States in the second position. The red player Ellsworth uh, Mancini, Mancini from uh, Belgium, is in the third position, playing as red. We have the blue player General Strut from Ukraine. Eight uh, General Strut eight three zero one in the yeah. See, white's bursting out here. Uh, General Strut is in the, what's that, fifth, uh, the fourth position. The orange player, Dark Zek from New Zealand, is in the fifth position, playing as orange, as previously mentioned. The white player, uh, Le Legiao, Le 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 87, Legiao, maybe, from, uh, from Brazil, is playing as white in the fifth position. So, I just, I was just at 26, right? Did I get hit twice? I got hit twice by blue. That's right. Okay. Um, I don't know. It might be in my best interest to feed the blue kill to white. But yes, yeah, you notice how blue got out of the way because he wanted to give white lines into me. But white closes off his lines to me, which is actually quite good. I also don't want red to have lines on me, but I want to maintain my lines on red. However, red keeps getting stronger every turn. I need him to have a pretty bad roll up there. Um... Do I card skip? I think I only skip if... If pink bots and trades in, I don't skip. Yeah, I don't skip. This will give a line of orange onto blue. One big stack for me. And this way, not a good roll. Bought a large 21 stack that we can use to go roam around. We're not going to have a kill on blue, which is a little bit unfortunate. And because I'm the early trade in here, I'm not going to really have a kill on red. We're just going to have to play a tight game here. I'm going to move. Can I move this down a little bit to give you guys a little bit more centralized view? I don't want to. I'm trying to do better in, in videos with not moving the maps around too much. Blue has way too. Blue has played this expertly in a progressive cards game. I'm not sure how he's kept all of these positions alive. Um, so I will trade in first unless white or orange trades in, but that will be quite the commitment from those players. White getting five extra a turn, so he'll be getting, uh, he'll be on 41 after this turn. Orange is also getting five, he'll be on 38, so they'll be a bit ahead of me. And then with the trade-ins coming in, they'll be even further ahead of me. We have Alley, so we'll trade in Alley if we can. Again, horse trade, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, better to trade in progressive cards your, your duplicates rather than your standard set. So Alley is which of these? That is this one back here. So we can hit with this down in Root Passage and fortify Alley up to uh, our large stack. I'm glad he doesn't hit me out of there. Uh, I will leave this disconnected because it'll make me a little bit harder to kill. White, meanwhile, fortifying up. The bot has already traded, but doesn't take a card. So the bot, not really worth the kills. Not a fan of White removing that position over there. That is, uh, that's a little bit frustrating that he hits me. I mean, I guess keep your lines as open as you can. 
And he's still got this one over here. So the, the one over here is actually really bad. I'm surprised blue hasn't removed that yet because that gives white lines on red if he wants them come trade in time. Oh boy. Oh boy, the bot is rampaging through the six of orange up at the top of the board. And that actually is going to make orange weaker than me now, getting my troops here. Uh, we'll take Alley, and again, we're going to trade the horses. Get the extra two in there. We'll get our hit over here. I could go for a kill on red right now. It would set me in, but I really don't think it's worth it. We hit up this way. We lose another troop on a four on one. The issue here with blue is that if blue doesn't properly fortify this position over here, he's going to be in a tough spot. Now, red could take that. Was that a plus five over there on the right-hand side? It is a plus five on the right-hand side, which is intriguing. How many territories? This is nine on the left, eight on the right. Okay, eight on the right. Red takes that bonus. He could greed a second one if he wanted to. He doesn't. He leaves white with the lines on, but now he's going to be getting five a turn, which is one more troop than I get. Orange now in a tougher spot with the bot. He doesn't have enough juice to kill the bot because white has not hit this territory here in the forest clearing bonus. Very intrigued about where all of this is at right now. By the way, if you want to be shouted out in an upcoming video, my list unfortunately does not update frequently enough but if you want to get a shout out in an upcoming video all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and make sure you have public subscriptions on if you do i'll give you the shout out that you deserve i don't have anybody on my list today but uh but very soon i imagine will youtube will help me catch up and uh and yeah so let's see orange might just commit everything in the center here knock the bot back a bit but i don't know that he's going to want to feed it i have a set on three that purple kill, or sorry, that pink kill might be on the table for me. I might wait to set until four and then go for it. Orange on 42. I mean, pink clearly the weakest one. I think blue might just take that kill on the next turn without even setting in. I think that's the issue here. I think blue takes that kill on the next turn without setting in. Don't like white juicing this in here either. He's not going to take this bonus, but that that's still a line kept on me if he wants it. Uh, 16, 19 now? It's not going to take a card. It's not worth it. Splits over there. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's worth the two cards here. Um, I don't want to open red to myself. I'd be fine opening orange to white. Do I set in now? It'd be the 20 trade, but I don't have a kill I can confirm off of that, right? Like, white's too strong. Even with the 20, that's up to 59. It'd be tight. I would have to split back here. I don't think that's worth it. I'm going to hold off, and then we're going to point this back down. I'm going to leave this... No, I'm going to leave that there. White might trade in and kill me on three. He very well might if he kept a joker. I'm hoping that red hits white out of here, because that would keep my lines on white down at the bottom, and maybe, just maybe, we get somebody to set in early. Or if red smokes blue out of here as well. I mean, he can still... No, don't don't go back. Leave yourself... Ooh, that's a bad play by Red. So ah. so the reason that's a bad play by Red is Red's 21 is now locked behind his own territory. Whereas before... Yeah, see, Blue opens it up. That's a bad play by Blue. I would have hit... I mean, maybe he's worried about feeding the bot. I would have hit off your three down here. Don't. There's no point in opening Red's lines back up. Ah. If you leave him boxed out here... He fortifies back. If he had just stayed on this, he still defends his bonus from that area. Because I can't get up through him here. Meanwhile, if somehow I can get somebody to trade in early. I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on everybody's kills here. Orange with maybe a potential bot out situation? Orange botting out would be... Nope, not going to bot out. 
Puts three down here. Very slow to decide what he's going to do. If he doesn't add to that eight, he adds one, he adds two. That might roll a ten. The bot, the bot might roll a ten on ten. Stranger things have happened. I could see white going for the kill on pink here. White's going to go for the kill on pink. Or not. What I would do, if I was white, kill pink, kill orange. Chain them together. They're the easiest lines you have off of a trade-in. You've already got the 20 facing this guy here. Now he's going to hit here. This will box him out from me. Leaves a three there. Pulls that off. Yeah, so we don't open that line at all. Because we're actually super protected from white now. Now I could trade in and kill red and set in again. But I'm not sure that the trades are high enough to justify that. But because white closed his lines on me... You know, see, the bot's, bot's going to miss a card again. And now fortifies nearly everything in front of blue. At this point, if I had... Here, we're going to hit right into pink here. I'm not going to set in again. There's no incentive. Now that both red and white are closed off to me, there's no incentive for me to trade in right now. I'm not at risk of dying. And there's a joker. Perfect. I had a set already. Now we have guaranteed back-to-back -back sets. So if red doesn't set here now, he gets eight, sure. But if somehow somebody sets before that, the kill on red, I set, yeah, so I set in. I set in. I kill red. I double set off of the kill on red. Fergus, chill, bro. Dude is jumping from the skies. Right, because red's the one I have the best line on. And this will be a 60, at least a 60, um, 5, if not seven, 70 stack. That should be a clean kill on red, on 5. I think that's a mistake by red and not trade in. And because he's on 5, I trade in. Oh, no, I don't double set. I don't double set. I will only be on two cards. Interesting. Um... All right, so maybe the play is if we can somehow get white to hit pink here, kill red, kill red. Oh, white sets early. Oh, boy. White sets early, so it's a 25 trade for me then. He's still here. Why, why would you put a seven there? Does he gonna hit orange I mean this is a completely buried 41 stack and we just pray that blue doesn't open that up to let white kill me I don't like that play at all by white I don't think white was ever at risk of dying he was the strongest player in the game but instead that gives me a 25 trade we kill red we set in again on the 30 trade Bot trade sets back that way. And we could kill the bot for additional troops. Um, Alright, let's go for it. Pretty good roll. Um, oh, maybe I can kill orange, actually. I might be able to kill orange. Kill orange. I should have enough troops here to kill orange, I think, off the trade-in. 32. 16, is that enough? 51 up here. That's tight. Ten. Lose four. That's really good. Kill orange. That set that double sets me. And white again still not opened on me. Oh boy. Trade the horses. Um 
12 here. This will open white, so I don't want to go for that just yet. Um, kill pink first for the blue player. That sets me in. And white's not on a set, so we can just effectively delete most of white here. Come off of this and hit white as hard as I can. Right after killing blue. Kill blue. Oh man, I gotta get every kill in one turn here, man? This is insane! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah. This is bananas! Come on, give me the best roll you've ever seen. Oh, I don't know. Five? Oh man, we run the table! In one turn, let's go! Let's go, everybody! That was sick! That makes up for the tournament game a couple days ago, where I should have rolled everybody in one turn. What a game! Moonstone Forest, man, we love this map. I've had good games on this map in the past, and this was just pure bliss. Just incredible. Grandmaster blue player. Yeah, we saw them taking all those all those various positions. I could tell he was pretty good. Intermediate white player. I think trading in early. Uh, well, the trading in early didn't matter because he actually, his trade in early got him second, quite frankly. Beginner on orange, beginner on the pink player who bought it out, and master on red. Great competition in this game. I was honestly on the edge of my seat early because I'm like, is white going to... Is he going to come for me? Is blue going to potentially come for me? I think blue maybe should have killed the bot when he had the chance. It, when it would have set him in, I think that could have could have started a snowball for himself, but uh, didn't go for it. What a game, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this one. First impressions on this one, one of the games I'm most proud of in recent weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about this one. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you right here above my head, the subscribe button's in the upper right-hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.